Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the limitations of the magnification of a telescope. It turns out there's essentially a lower limit and a higher limit at which you want to set the magnification of a telescope. First of all, depending upon the conditions, but also more important, relative to the size of the objective lens. For any particular telescope, there's essentially a rule of thumb of a maximum and minimum magnification that you want to stick to or you want to be in between. So if we take telescope sizes in inches, typically the lowest magnification should be the diameter in inches of the telescope times four. So if you have a five inch telescope, five times four is 20 X. So the lowest magnification that it's effective would be 20 X for a five inch telescope. The highest setting for magnification, the rule of thumb is that the diameter of the telescope times 40 or five times 40, which would be 200. It really wouldn't make a lot of sense to take a 5-inch telescope and put a special Barlow lens in there to try and get a 400x or a 600x magnification because it wouldn't do you much good when the limitations are in the size of the objective lens. If we want to use this in centimeters, let's say you have a 20-centimeter telescope, for the lowest setting it's 1.6 times the diameter in centimeters, for the highest is 20 times the diameter in centimeters. So for a 20 centimeter telescope, 1.6 times 20 is 32x, which is essentially the lowest effective setting of that telescope for magnification. And at the highest range, 20 times 20 would be 400, that would be the largest magnification you're trying to squeeze out your telescope, or again it becomes less effective, you don't get a lot of light coming through, feel the view is very narrow, and you wouldn't get much out of your telescope at that point. So if you want to compare the resolution of a telescope compared to the resolution with the naked eye, let's say you have healthy eyes, good eyes that have 20-20 vision, your resolution with the eye is about 120 arc seconds, which is about two arc minutes. To give a, an example, the moon has a, has a uh, an angular size of about 30 arc minutes, so you can see details with the naked eye about 1 15th the diameter of the moon. So the big craters and the big features on the moon you can see, but anything else you just don't see with the naked eye. At that point you want a telescope. So when you have a telescope that has a magnif magnification of 120, you can then see that the resolution of that telescope is now down to 1 arc second. Well, one arc second, that's about the limit that the atmosphere will allow. At higher magnifications, the atmosphere will limit the ability for the telescope to do better because of the turbulence in the atmosphere. And so you can see that anything beyond 120 magnification doesn't do you a lot of good because of the atmospheric conditions. In order to get away from that, you need to be high on the mountaintop in a region where there's very little light exposure, where there's very little turbulence on a good night, no clouds, clear atmosphere, no wind. Then you can do better with a better telescope. But you can see that the limitations are the atmosphere as well as the diameter of the lens of your telescope. And that is how it's done.